Dakota, an inquisitive Alaskan wolf, sets off on a quest to witness the magical northern lights. Along his journey, he learns valuable lessons from his elders about the natural wonders of his homeland. Will Coda's dreams of seeing the aurora borealis come true? Once upon a time, in the snowy land of Alaska, there lived a young wolf named Coda. Coda was a curious wolf, always wondering about the world around him. One night, as he gazed up at the stars with his family, he heard his grandfather, Elder Hawk, speak of a magical light show in the sky called the Northern Lights. Coda's eyes sparkled with excitement as Elder Hawk told stories of colorful lights dancing in the night sky. I want to see the Northern Lights, Coda exclaimed. His parents smiled and said, one day, with patience and courage, you will, Coda. Inspired by the stories and eager to see the lights, Coda made a promise to himself. He would embark on a journey to witness the beautiful aurora borealis. And so, under the watchful moon, Coda's heart filled with hope as he prepared for his grand adventure. Early the next morning, Coda woke up with a smile on his face. He packed a small bag with some food and said goodbye to his family. Be careful, Coda, his mom said, hugging him tightly. I will, mom, I promise, Coda replied. As Coda started his journey, he felt the crisp snow under his paws and the chilly breeze on his fur. He walked through tall trees and over icy rivers, following the stories he remembered from Elder Hawk. Along the way, Coda met new friends, a playful fox named Finn and a wise old owl named Luna. Finn and Luna were excited to join Coda in his quest to see the Northern Lights. Together, they traveled through the wintry forest, sharing stories and laughter. Coda felt happy and confident with his new friends by his side, knowing they were one step closer to the magical lights. As nighttime approached, Coda, Finn, and Luna found a cozy spot under a big pine tree to rest. They snuggled close to keep warm. I can't wait to see the northern lights, Coda said, his eyes twinkling. Suddenly, they heard a rumble in the distance. It was a big brown bear named Grumble. What are you little ones doing in my part of the forest? Grumble growled. Coda felt a bit scared, but Luna calmly explained their journey. We're searching for the Northern Lights, she said. Grumble's eyes softened. The Northern Lights, huh? Very special indeed, he said, thinking. But before they could talk more, Grumble warned them of a snowstorm coming their way. You need to find shelter quickly, he said. With the storm approaching, Coda and his friends had to act fast. Would they find a safe place before the storm hit? Coda, Finn, and Luna hurried through the forest, searching for a safe place. The wind started to howl and snowflakes danced around them. Look, a cave, Finn shouted, pointing to a dark opening among the rocks. The friends quickly ran inside, feeling the warmth and safety of the cave. Phew, that was close, Coda said, catching his breath. They huddled together, listening to the storm rage outside. Thank you, Grumble, Luna whispered, grateful for the bear's warning. As they waited, they shared more stories to keep each other calm and cheerful. After a while, the storm began to quiet down. Do you think it's safe to go out now? Coda asked. They peeked outside and saw the sky clearing up, their hearts filled with hope again. Could it be time to finally see the northern lights? They stepped out of the cave, looking up at the night sky. As Coda, Finn, and Luna gazed up, the sky started to shimmer. The dark night was painted with waves of green, pink, and purple light. Wow, it's beautiful, Coda whispered, his eyes wide with wonder. Finn and Luna were just as amazed, speechless at the sight above them. They watched as the northern lights danced, filling the sky with magical colors. This is even better than the stories, Coda said, smiling. The friends sat together, feeling happy and proud of their journey. They knew they'd remember this moment forever. When the lights finally faded, Coda hugged Finn and Luna. Thank you for sharing this with me, he said. We did it together, Luna replied warmly. Tired but joyous, they found their way back home, hearts full of the memories they'd made. And as they curled up to sleep, they dreamed of more adventures under the beautiful Alaskan sky. We hope you enjoyed this story. If you liked this video, please go ahead and push the like button. If you like the content and want to see more, please subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.